Hello everyone. Well, listen closely. You're hearing all sorts of noise. All that noise is power generators in our neighborhood. And that's what I want to talk about on this video. Yes, power generators. No, not really. I want to talk about my setup here and what I was able to test. I was able to test how the portability that is running off a battery in the field. Because, you know, I, I've got this astronomy shed and I've got this set up and I run it on the power from my house, but I can take this in the field as well. Anyways, my name is Kurt Zepatello and you're watching Answer Quest 1. Okay, so all of your equipment on here, that is your mount, focuser, camera, filter wheel, auto guider, well that all runs on DC and the power from your house, at least here in the US, is AC, so you would need a converter. Now when you purchase some of this stuff, it usually comes with a converter and as I discussed on some of my other videos uh, on this cable management, you know, you can have tens of cables coming all over the place. And what I did was I got this Pegasus Pocket Power Box, which is, can't say enough good things about it. But anyways, all your equipment runs directly into this Pegasus Power Box. And then you would just have one power cable coming down going into that converter that I was talking about. It's down here, I don't know if you can see it. So this is that AC-DC power converter. One power converter rules them all, just like one ring rules them all. Um, anyways, so what happened is we had a big storm, the big uh, hurricane uh, that came through. Well, we, we, it was a tropical storm by the time we got it. But anyways, it whacked out our town, and so I'm without power right now, nor do I have internet. But we had some clear nights. So I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, no problem. I just took my uh, batteries out and I connected, disconnected this and just took the power battery as if I was in the field. And this thing worked really well. It, it, it behaved flawlessly. So that's a good thing about this. And I, as I said, I designed this whole thing to be portable should I want to go to a, a dark site but I never had the opportunity to test it out and thanks to the power outage I had the opportunity to test it out yeah see I can as I said I can take this whole thing you know just off real simply and drive it out or I can even if I take it apart I have it so the rings can be disconnected from the telescope and this whole thing stays as one unit so it would be real easy to connect it back up so Let's go take a look at the uh, battery business here that I'm talking about too, because I did some minor modifications on my battery as well. Okay, everyone, well, let's talk about this uh, battery stuff here. This is a deep cycle marine battery. This is the kind you want for to run your power equipment because it uh, holds the same charge throughout the night. And this one happens to be a 12 volt, uh, 20 amp hours. I have another backup one here same idea only this is uh, 12 amp hours so it's not it's not as gonna last as long this is just a backup uh, I hardly ever use that one so what I did with this battery is I actually got this little adapter here from a battery electronics store so I have the these things screwed into the terminals so nothing will become disconnected accidentally in the field you don't want that to happen and this connects up to your normal cigarette lighter Okay, now what does this cigarette lighter connect up to? This cigarette lighter connects up to this little adapter that connects right into the Pegasus power box. This came from Pegasus. So you plug this into the power box and then this thing connects right down in here and you're good to go. And since the Pegasus power box runs everything, uh, I'm all set. That's all I had to do. Okay, so I've got this. Now, what else do I have over here? These are some other odds and ends that I picked up over the years. Uh, these are, this is just uh, alligator clips with a cigarette lighter. This is what I used to use before I got this adapter. The risk you run with this thing is 
uh, these things might come on become unclipped somehow so that's why I have this thing so it's screwed in uh, this thing's the adapter I used to use this just connects up the mount so I, I used to just use the battery to run the mount and then this thing connects up to the mount the Atlas Pro or the Cirrus whichever mount that I'm using if you buy one of these deep sea deep sea deep um, cycle batteries you want to keep it charged and what I use is this uh, it's called the battery buddy basically it's one of these trickle uh, chargers so it doesn't charge it takes a real long time to charge it up it takes like 10 12 or longer hours to charge it up but it's also a storage device so when I'm not using this as I said I hardly ever use this thing I think once a year maybe maybe even less than that so how do I keep this thing charged well you just put it on this trickle charger once a month even though if it doesn't need it even though if it says it's full just leave it on here for a little while not a couple hours or so uh, just to keep it um, charged up the other thing you want to have um, well that's actually all the main necessity items now I do have this thing over here and this is a power inverter you guys can see it and you can stick this in this cigarette lighter and it actually has plugs it actually has some USB ports too which could be handy now you might say geez why don't I just get one of these things and connect up the battery and I could just plug that other stuff in here well I don't recommend running all your equipment off of something like this because remember all your equipment on your telescope is DC the battery is DC if you connect this thing up you're taking this DC battery converting it to AC plugging all that stuff in here and then you need another AC DC converter again uh, so you're you it's very inefficient doing that so you don't want to do that just keep it DC if it's already at DC I have this just for giggles I guess uh, if you will <laughs> um, in case you need it for some other odds and ends like this for example uh, this will run my blow dryer and for those of you in astrophotography you know what a blow dryer is, used, is good for in the field it's due in case you know you get do build up or something else you know so you can run other stuff off here maybe the computer I don't know whatever but um, I just have it it's a holdover okay what else did I want to say about all this oh I know my cooler here like, see you probably saw this cooler this is where I have everything stored so I have it all ready to go so oops so I, I can, I'll just put this thing in here the battery sits in here as does this emergency battery I'll just leave everything I'll just leave everything else out but I just have everything stored in here so it's all ready to go and what I did with this cooler is I put a little notch in here so and I just I can close the battery up and I have adapter just connected up to the uh, telescope and it's all ready to go and I can leave this closed and so it keeps the stuff in here if it's cold outside it'll keep it a little bit warm if it's warm outside it'll keep it a little cooler and keep the dew out and everything else and as I said it's all ready to go so I, I think that's all I wanted to say, and I hope you found this interesting, and we'll see you later.